we've thought of aging as something different than disease. But when you dig into what's the difference between the two, there's very little difference. A disease is something that causes disability, frailty, suffering, and death. So does aging. The only difference between the two is one affects less than half the population and aging affects the, the majority. Yeah. And we, we draw that cutoff at 50%, which is arbitrary. It, what it's led to is a feeling, an attitude that we're raised on. It may be religious, it may be philosophical in our society that disease is unnatural and aging is natural. And so we should attack only diseases and let aging take its course and age gracefully. Well, if you've seen anyone go through the last stages of life, there's nothing graceful about it. Right. Um, and so I'm devoting my life to making sure life is, has dignity, has health, productivity for as long as possible. And it turns out if you live healthier for longer, stay younger for longer, you live longer as well. But the primary goal is to keep people healthy. And I, I'm going after aging as though it is a disease because I, I really think that we should treat it that way and define it that way. It's a very common one. Yeah. Often people say, oh, we've reached our maximum lifespan. We live too long already. Just, just look out in the natural world. There, there are many species that live longer than us. Tortoises, whales, of course. Oh, you mm -hmm. can go to trees that can live for thousands of years. There's no law of biology that says we have to age. We evolved this lifespan because of our environment and how likely it was that our children and ourselves would die from starvation or from war or predation. And we live pretty long compared to other mammals, but there are other mammals that are really at the top of the food chain and have been for millions of years. And that's why they evolved very long lifespans. Mm -hmm. So it's very doable. It's not like our bodies are not capable of doing it. And we're just starting to learn how it's possible to reverse our age and even co-opt the mechanisms that species use to regenerate lost or damaged limbs. Amazing. So practically speaking, what you guys are doing is incredible. But if you were to put a number on it within our lifespan, because like I said, you and I are similar in similar age, within our lifespan, what do you see as a realistic increase in lifespan? Uh, right. Well, first of all, you look a lot younger than, than I would think. Oh, well, thank you. In I'm, my age. I appreciate so it. keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Thanks. So that's a tough question. With the regimen that my father's on, for instance, which is pretty optimal, but not too draconian, I would, I would think he's given himself an extra five to 10 years of healthy life. Uh, we know that if you just do the main things that doctors tell you to do, don't smoke, exercise, eat reasonably, those things will give you on average an extra 14 years of life. So this isn't rocket science. Now, can you get another 25 years of life by adding on some supplements or doing things more rigorously? I think it's, it's possible, not for everybody, but I think it's, it's possible. But going beyond that, it gets to be really hard because there are a lot of things that go wrong in our bodies and it only takes one thing to break to kill us. And that's really the problem with aging is that all of the diseases that we get go up exponentially. And if we don't slow all of them down, then it doesn't really matter. Even if you got rid of cancer completely, we'd only on average live a couple of years longer. Hmm. So it gets really hard to go beyond those kind of numbers. But the breakthrough that we've made in my lab and in others just recently on being able to reverse the aging process and reprogram cells to be young again, that to me gives me not just hope, but true belief that we will be able to reverse the age of old tissues and potentially of the entire body one day, uh, initially with a gene therapy, but then eventually with, with pills uh, that we can take. Imagine that a few pills we could take and you, your age actually goes back 10 or 20 years. Yeah. This is not science fiction. I was at a meeting yesterday with initially three Nobel Prize winners and then Jennifer Doudna won it uh, on the first day. So four Nobel Prize winners at this conference. Jeez. <laughs> uh, we are seriously discussing what is the path to get us to safe, cheap, whole body age reverse, you know, and, and these are the best scientists in the world on this topic. So what once was considered crazy and just a dream that I was going on about, the kind of stuff that I've got in my book very quickly has become mainstream. Mm -hmm.